Hello. My name is Zach Dombrowski, and I am participating in the mortgage study. Um, this is my first video, um, and I'm going to use it to just kind of give you an overview of who I am and kind of why I'm looking to buy a house. So, ah, I guess a little bit of background um, about me. I'm 21. I live in Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, I lived, I've lived here for pretty much my whole life, um, and I just graduated from school. I was a business major. I went to uh, a polytechnic school, so it's a little weird that I was a business major. Um, but now that I've graduated, I have a job working for an insurance company, um, and that's going well. So I've just kind of decided, you know, this is going to be a good time for me um, to actually buy my first house. Mm. So some of the stuff that I've done so far, uh, I've got my real estate license just to kind of learn a little bit about, you know, the, the market and figure out, you know, what it is exactly that I'm looking for. Um, and I've started doing a little bit of shopping around. Um, but basically, the, the main reason that I want to buy a house is I really want to feel financially secure. Um, right now, I feel okay, but I'm paying about $1,200 a month um, for rent for a one-bedroom apartment, which is, you know, it, it's kind of your typical kind of old apartment. Um, it's nothing special, and for this amount of money, I could be investing more in my own future um, and buying a house. So really one of my goals in life is to be able to build up, you know, a lot of equity and be able to just be really comfortable financially so that I can have more freedom to make, you know, more choices and I don't have to feel like, you know, I have to work in a certain job or do certain things if I don't want to do that. Um, so really that's, that's kind of what my goal, my goal is. So um, just to give you, I guess, some parameters, I'm looking to stay in Worcester. Um, Worcester is kind of like a medium-sized city, probably about 200,000 people or so, um, and houses are pretty cheap here, um, for especially for Massachusetts. You know, I could, I'm looking to kind of buy something probably for less than $200,000, and uh, in most of this area, that's pretty um, unaffordable. But in Worcester itself, uh, that's that's possible. Um, I'm looking for. Just, you know, a small kind of starter home um, that I can live in myself. I've kind of always been really excited about the idea of having a house. Um, kind of when you live in an apartment, it gets a little bit boring. My walls are <laughs> kind of all white and I can't really do much to decorate. Um, but it would be really nice to feel like I have a place that, you know, I, I can call my own and that I can really be in for a long time. Um, you know, I think that it'll just kind of help me feel like I have a little bit more momentum in my, in my life and like I have a direction that I'm going in. So um, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much why I'm looking to buy a house. I'm kind of thinking right now that I'd like to be in the Burncoat neighborhood of Worcester. Um, it's pretty close to to work. Um, I'd love to be able to walk or bike to work. Um, you know, I don't really like driving all that much and it's just kind of one of the older neighborhoods you know, it always feels pretty safe and there's a lot of families, not that I <laughs> have kids or anything like that, but it's just kind of like a quaint little area and, you know, if I can afford it, I would love to live there. Um, so, you know, really I'm, I'm hoping to actually um, have this purchase done by the time that my lease is up in September. So hopefully by the summer I'll have an offer in and I'll be kind of good to go. Um, between now and then, I know I have to do a lot of saving and make a lot of probably tough decisions. I um, probably need to save about nine, ten thousand dollars or so at least for a down payment. Um, I met with a mortgage broker last week and we kind of laid out all of my finances and it seems like it's possible for me to do that. I'm gonna have to save a lot, not really spend a lot of money um, outside of my rent, and um, hopefully find other ways to generate a little bit of income on the side, maybe sell a couple of houses, um, something like that, because uh, I know $10,000 in probably six months is a pretty 
ambitious goal, um, but I'm really hoping that I can achieve that because it'll help me a lot. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much me. That's kind of my story about you know where I'm at now, and you know so you'll be seeing some more videos from me. Um, probably be putting out one a week or so um, that will you know kind of document what's going on in my home buying process. All right, thanks.